There are a thousand different ways to end up on the rocks. I don't know what it is that brought you down or what change in the winds cut through your own ship. If it was the elements, if it was bad luck, or if the wreck was entirely one of your own making. Whatever kind of wreck you're in, the important thing is that you survived. I survived too. That means neither one of us are entirely alone out here against these indifferent waves on these godforsaken shores. So in the storm, you lost it all. And all that's left in the deep water around you are remains. Nothing is whole, least of all you. But in these fragments, there are planks that remain. Pieces of desire, of dreams, of hope, of imagination, of longing, that are rising to the top of you even now. They're no longer attached neatly together, but they are still afloat. You may not need all of them, perhaps you don't need many of them, but you almost certainly need one of them. The fact is, shipwreck is not a time when sentimentality or overcomer platitudes can hold you up. So don't reach for those now. Reach for, for whatever it is that will keep you afloat right now. Whatever it is that will just get you through the night. I've had a shipwreck moment of my own, and I can tell you I fully believe God can only be truthfully known and encountered from the underside of things. A shipwreck, like nothing else, will awaken you to God in a way you've not known Him before. That doesn't mean you would choose it willingly, that you'd go back and do it all over again. And it doesn't make the shipwreck any less terrible. Here's what I do know. Water has a way of making things new, especially when the Spirit hovers over it. And the God who created you in utter love is able to bring out of your shipwreck moment a baptism. It's a baptism into a stronger, richer, deeper, more integrated life. The question is, will you let Him raise you up?